Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of the brand new Topps Chrome UFC featuring a box of Breakers Delight and a box of Hobby and we're going by division here. There's nine divisions that we got right there. All card chip, big thanks to this group for making it happen. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a two, five times each. One, two, three, four, five. Joe down to Darren. And then three and a two, five times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, and five. Got men's middleweight down to men's featherweight. And all the other divisions in between. All right, Joe with the men's middleweight. Uh, SKS Steve with uh, Stephen with men's heavyweight. Simon, you got women's flyweight, straw, straw weight, straw weight and bantam weight. Darren with men's light heavyweight. Simon with men's bantam weight. Darren with welterweight. Joe with men's lightweight. SKS men's flyweight and Darren with men's featherweight. Let's alphabetize these. And we'll uh, pause the video just for a little moment. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we will have the break. Stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No, a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So this list right here remains the same. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate you here in break number three. Break number four is in the store right now. If you want to get a head start on that, you can rip another two boxes. So here's the stack of Breakers Delight that Jason popped open a little bit earlier today. So I will, we'll select a column and then we'll select an individual box. We'll go one, one, two, three for the left side. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that's three, one, two, three. And then we'll take these away. And we'll hey, do you have batteries in here for next time? Triple uh, A? Yes, actually. I think there's a lot under the time thing too. Oh, All right, so we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. It's one, left side. Let's scoot these away here. Now from top to bottom, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then it's three. Again, oh, two threes in a row. All right, there we go. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, I got I got this last weekend. The weather's getting a tiny bit warmer here. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah, why? I think I think any employee of Major League Baseball, you don't you don't want them betting on baseball games. If the guy had access to an injury report thirty minutes before the public knew, that could be actionable information. It's not gonna happen. I think maybe even any employee even loosely associated with the Major League Baseball, there's probably, probably rules there as well. All right, I know very little about the UFC world. So you're gonna have to signal to me if, uh, if whatever hit I pull, if any, are, are good or not, UFC fans. Did not look at the box. What are we expecting out of this here? Oh, there's, some, there's one right here. Two chrome autographs per box on average. And then in the breakers of light should be a few, no, two in there as well, and then six chrome refractors, all right. All right, good luck everybody. Where, where, where is this? Let's see where this camera setting is here. First of all, I want this.
And there's our first autograph. Future stars, Alex Pereira. Which you want to betting on sports? Or? I suppose, but I don't, I don't. I don't think a lot of MLB employees are really interacting. You know, like Do the Dodgers front offices or employees aren't really interacting too much with the Rams front office. There's not a lot of crossover there. Just because they're in the same city, they're not like bumping into each other and being like, oh, "Hey, give me some information." There's a Yadong Song. Song. Uh, purple. That's not numbered. Oh, by the way, this is a middleweight. That's going to go to Joe Lawson with men's middleweight. There's Paul Rosas. I think I've heard of Emmanuel Nunez. Here's Song again. 94 out of 299. He is a bantamweight, 5'8", 135? 5'8", 135? Seems, seems very lean. You think, I don't think Dodgers players are talking Lakers. About what? What were they talking about? Here's Alexander Volkov, 67 out of 150. I mean, baseball front offices rarely talk to their own baseball, other baseball front offices. There's a lot of loyalty that's happening there. There's a uh, Caitlin Sermonara, 87 out of 99. Just everyday stuff, no. And there's Holly Holmes, our second autograph. That will be for Simon. Now most of those front offices are pretty, pretty insular anyway. There might be some shop talk during like the winter meetings and stuff like that, but I think in the off season. But during the season, you don't want. You don't want any fear of you know, revealing team secrets or anything like that during the course of a regular season. So, and there's really nothing, I mean, some assistant GM calling up Rob Polinka just to say hi for the Lakers? Probably not, I wouldn't imagine. And here is a speckle Yair Rodriguez featherweight to 299. That'll be for Darren. All right, that was the first box. Here is the Breakers Delight box. I think it's more likely that the two teams' medical staffs might consult with each other at some point. If there's like someone's like, oh, hey, there's a guy in the Lakers that used to specialize in knee stuff. Maybe I'll call him up. I think that, I feel like that might be a, a more common occurrence. And here's our two autographs. We've got Paul Rosas, Future Stars. That's gonna be, It's going to be a bantam weight that it will be for uh, Simon. And our second autograph is Jalen Turner, lightweight. That's going to go to Joe Lawson. All right, no reaction from the chat. So I'm assuming these player, these fighters are not super desirable. But we got another two box break loaded up. There's Bogloy Ivanov, 201 out of 299. Heavyweight, that'll go to uh, SKS. There's Cyril Gain, heavyweight, also for Steven. 001 out of 150. Blue parallel. Dan Hooker, lightweight, that's gonna be for Joe. To 299, speckle. And some more refractors. There you go, gang. More UFC in the store just dropped today.
Now, I, I may not know a lot about UFC, but I do know that these sets are not super common, right? UFC product in general. So the secondary market could be pretty strong for, for the right fighters. There you go, gang. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.